What up, YouTube? Just got myself a cool little new GoPro Max. This is Go uh, GoPro's newest 360 camera. And we're gonna be trying it out on the bike today. It's supposed to be pretty awesome, so let's, let's quickly open it up and see what we're dealing with here. resistant as hell, they're waterproof, they're freaking awesome. So there's our camera, GoPro 360 Max or GoPro Max 360, however they name it. So let's uh, undo this screw thing here. So GoPros now come with this cool feature where you don't need to actually have one of these to, uh, to screw it onto a, a mount or a holder of some kind it just has its own little teeth that come built into the camera this is obviously a little sticker we're gonna take that off anybody want a picture of that little kayak so this camera supposedly we can get some awesome angles with it and uh yeah we're gonna have a lot of fun with it let me uh, put it back in here and take it off and we'll see what uh what all came in the box all right so the box we we'll open it up got some instructions here nothing that doesn't work like any other GoPro. The thing about this GoPro that uh, you don't have to do with the other ones is cool stickers. All right, so with this camera, you have to use GoPro special software. When you download the raw footage, you have to go through it because obviously you have 360, a 360 view of everything. So you have to pick which frames are gonna end up in your actual raw video file or something like that. I'll go over it if I need to, I don't know. Uh, it comes with a cool little camera case with some uh, Protective lenses there. We'll probably be using those a lot since this thing's gonna be on the bike. What else? Should have a consumer battery. Yep, there we go. Comes with a charging cable. Trigger, easy boy. Little battery, two regular covers, not the 360 uh, transparent covers, and another curve mount. So for now, we can pop the curve mount in here. And all right, let's mount this puppy up, see what it can do. All right, so first I'm walking with the San Juan just called, say he's downstairs, so let's go see what that's about. Hello, oh, so it's in an elevator. See, that's the thing, you don't need to spin this camera. You're so used to spinning your camera to get what you want, you don't have to do that with this. Just carry it right here. Check this out. It goes around and round and round. What's going on, baby boy? Bro, look at all the shit you've done and you haven't even told called me. This thing is looking sick. Shit. I need the breather, I need the uh, yeah. cocktail shakers, it's just lip ons. I did the seats, painting them. This is actually paint. What? Yes. Is that the black ones? It's, no. Is the black seats? I just painted them. Wait, With what? a special, a special paint that ones. comes for buying. Oh, no one. Oh, no? yeah. Yeah, yeah, the stock, stock seats. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. So, I thought you had yeah. me yeah. No, bro. I, I need to get me some of that fucking paint. Yeah, bro. It blew my mind. I didn't even notice it was the same oh, seat. It looks so different. Seats. Yeah. Wow. Passing your seat. That's wow, cool. I can't believe it. You're gonna go to Kibble Chain enough. Yeah, I'm gonna go and check if they actually sold those uh, red wine colors. Just look at that, bro. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Mira los torn signals. <laughs> uh, LEDs, tan from the front, from from the front. front. Yeah, see some um, slim. Those are like shit. Those are nice. Again. Look at that shit. Those are really cool. By the way, this is probably all coming out like shit on this camera. I don't know what. I don't. I have no idea how this is gonna work out. It's Yo, selfie. selfie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm smiling with a mask. Like. Yeah, but if you were in a bad mood, now you, you wouldn't have to smile. You have to do interesting. You have to be like. 
Okay. And then, then on your yeah, it's all in the eyes. 346 minutes later. All right, so that little camera can do some awesome stuff. Now, I thought about where I'm going to put it on the bike, and I came across a little dilemma. Now I have four cameras, and can I use them all? Do I need them all? What's going on here? So let's figure this out, because I've been needing to organize my camera stuff forever. I got a bunch of little GoPro camera stuff, so... So here's the deal. So this is gonna be the mount for the 360. It's higher so we can get better angles. Mount it hopefully straight to the handlebar if this is good enough or uh, thin enough because this looks pretty thick. Pretty sure my handlebar is thicker than that, but we'll see how it holds. By the way, I always recommend getting, for accessories like this, like your the things that actually secure you to the bike, get actual GoPro stuff. Because these cheap ones, they work in a pinch, but you know, eventually they break. Anyway, this is the helmet cam. Nothing's happening to that. We got the mounting for this. Now this clamp, I just got from GoPro as well. This is my solution to mount the trigger cam. You see all the camera boxes and all the accessory boxes. But this is the solution I came up for trigger cam. And we're gonna get out there in a minute and start mounting all these up. Now this camera is actually the GoPro that always faces me. I think I wanna keep it doing the same thing because it's gonna be a flatter angle than the 360 camera and I can hit it from the other side. But we're gonna see if this camera ends up being redundant or not on this little ride. We're gonna test all these cameras out. All right, so let's get out there and see how we're gonna mount these up. 60 up and yeah, it looks a little retarded because it's all up there, but whatever, I don't care about that. But this tube mount actually is a little too, it's as tight as it goes, but it's a little too flimsy for the, for these handlebars. So I'm gonna need to find another solution where that's putting more rubber here or using another mount that's gonna, yeah, this isn't gonna work for this one. All right, I went ahead and tried this other uh, tube clamp, which is designed for a smaller tube. And I actually think this is gonna work. Yeah, it's got a little bit of give, but that's because of the nature of this. I may just try this with one arm extension first. So it's got less, look at that. Again. See, it's still moving. Yeah, so I'm gonna try that with one arm extension first and then we'll go from there. That's how I'm gonna try it first. And then we'll go from there. I had to use the large tube mount and I think that's gonna work. That's pretty sturdy on there. Obviously the big difference is I don't have the big arms swinging it about, but I think for this GoPro, this mount's actually gonna work. There's both GoPros right there on the handlebars. Let's, uh, let's look at this thing. All right, so there's our view with the bike straightened out. My fear is that the vibration is just going to cause too much vibration here. Thankfully, these have very good image stabilization. So we're going to give this a shot and see how it works out. Let's figure out this trigger cam. This might work just off of the backrest here. This clamp, you can see here, it's actually got a, a little tightening belt inside of there. This is pretty on there. I don't think that's going anywhere. This arm is completely flexible. I can get, flex it away from trigger and he should not be able to get to it. That's our trigger cam set up. All right, so now we have, that's a lot of fucking GoPros. We'll see how that works. All right, there's the setup. We'll see how this shit works out. Trigger, get in the back, man. All right, so initially I can already see that's a lot of damn vibration on this 360 camera. I'm hoping the stabilization cuts out most of it, but we will see. Now this is a lot of cameras. My hope is that this one for sure will become redundant and that this one can take over all the responsibilities. In fact, maybe even the one in the back. I don't know how the 360 angle is gonna be on trigger. We'll see. The hope would be that I can just keep two GoPro, but the fact of the matter is that I'm not sure if the 360 is going to pick up trigger at all. Because right now, this is a ton of fucking cameras. And, you know, I don't mind riding around the street looking like a freaking camera clown. Thing is, having four cameras is going to make it ten times fucking harder to edit. But, alright, it's our first ride with the 360, so let's see what she can do if we get out of this fucking traffic.
right now this is a pretty short ride i'm just gonna head over to cal's place and we're gonna hang out a bit not the major i'm just trying to see what this baby can do and if i still need you now something's going on with my what the hell fucking espn now something's going on with my main gopro i don't know why it keeps shutting off on me trigger i need you to get out of there no trigger trigger It's not too bad if it is I just got to find a different way to mount it where it's far enough away from the bike and you know it gets a good enough angle but yeah it cuts down on the vibration let's see how good the uh, I want to see how good a view I get going by the dog park all right here's this dog park let's see uh, how good it, this camera is Frozen patties later. All right, we'll see how all the shit comes out. I have a feeling I'm going to be trying different camera setups for a while. We'll see how the vibration is on this. We'll see if you're redundant. Hopefully trigger cam is redundant too with this baby. Though, I mean, there's got to be an angle that's like from over here. I don't think it's going to pick them up. So trigger cam, I don't think it's going anywhere. But... I'll review the GoPro 360 at a later time, I guess. I'm just literally trying this thing out for the first time. This damn motherfucker. Dude, easy. So, yep, yeah, that's going to do it for right now. Hopefully the video came out good. I guess uh, you all will be the judges of that. And uh, that'll be it. Right safe. Or maybe I can do it here. Right safe. What the hell is this asshole doing?